This welterweight semifinal is brought to you by Redcon One, Rory McDonald, Delano Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, Delano Taylor. They call him the postman because he always delivers. Delano Taylor is a former Titan FC welterweight champion. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, but representing his Jamaican heritage crowd. And Taylor makes no bones about it. He recognizes that he's facing an MMA legend in Rory McDonald tonight. But he thinks now is his time. He's a former Bellator champion, he was in the UFC. Rory, I think uh, he doesn't want to fight anymore. And I think this is like his last run to just take some good money and just dash out, you know? I know for a fact that this is this is my time now, you know? It's almost like the passing of the torch. I'm just ready to ready to go out there and showcase my skills and show like that's old generation, this new generation, this it's a new era, you know? Time to get to work. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Rory McDonald. You heard the UK fans express their appreciation for the Red King. He's been part of some iconic welterweight bouts in his career. A former Bellator welterweight champion looking to collect a second belt here inside the PFL, Mark King. Rory McDonald, despite his legendary career, is actually two and three in the PFL. And if you miss his feature, here's what Rory had to say about the opportunity to right the ship here tonight. This fight is absolutely crucial for me to go out there and dominate. I had said it in my mind at the beginning of this season that I was gonna go out there and have a resurgence in my career, have my name in people's mouths again. So I have to go out there and put that kind of performance out there where people are talking about it, that Rory's back. Let's check out the keys to victory here for this main event. For Rory McDonald, he needs to establish that jab, stay loose, and mix in the takedowns. For Delano Taylor, he needs to stop those takedowns, doesn't want to be on his back against Rory. He also needs to nullify McDonald's jab. And here's our Red Kong one tail of the tape. Rory McDonald, 33 years of age. Delano Taylor is only 25. Six foot three inches for Delano Taylor makes him three inches taller than Rory. One inch reach advantage on the arms, favoring Taylor, two inches on the legs. Andy Shepard, one more time for a semifinal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a welterweight semi final contest. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet three inches tall and weighed in officially at 169 pounds. He has amassed nine wins and just two losses in his professional career. Fighting out of Miami, Florida and representing Jamaica, he is the number five seed, the postman, Delano. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet even and weighed in officially at 171 pounds. In 33 professional fights, he has earned 23 wins, nine losses, and one draw. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, he is the number one seed. The Your referee in charge, Mark Goddard. 
Mark Goddard and the ref cam will oversee the main event action here in Cardiff, Wales. Rory is in the blue trunks. Delano Taylor in the black and gray. Right to the center of the cage they go. Immediately, Rory engages in some grappling. Delano Taylor trying to shrug off this early exchange. Inside trip attempt by McDonald. It fails, and Delano ends up on top. Rory trying to get an angle to attack that Omar Plata almost does. Still has decent control, not quite past the elbow, though. Delano in a nice position to limp arm out of that. Good work by Delano Taylor to use his shin to trap that right arm of Rory McDonald. Rory might try to swing back into a triangle. There he goes. Nice posture there by Taylor, though. Dan Hardy, we're one minute into this welterweight semi-final. Is it going the way you thought it would? It's really not, to be honest. I'm right behind uh, uh, Faraz Zahabi in the corner of Rory McDonald, and I think they're expecting it to start quite fast for Delano Taylor, but then Rory McDonald's experience will come through in the later rounds. This is a slower start for Rory than I, I think he's anticipating. 90 seconds gone in the first frame. Shoulder pressure from the top position here for Delano Taylor. And, and this is going to be good for the confidence of Delano Taylor, getting off to a start like this, stopping the takedown, getting top position here. You saw Rory, as he was standing up, trying to grab another single leg on Delano Taylor, feeling his advantage is to get top position on the ground as he lands a jab, and then a one-two. Oh. Sharp jab and a hook there from Delano Taylor. Another. Yeah, that flick jab is looking really sharp there for Taylor. Good low kick there. Down to the calf of Roy McDonald for Delano Taylor. Blood trickling off that left eyebrow of Rory McDonald. Have to believe it was a jab from Delano Taylor that landed on that side of his face. Yeah, it's odd to see Rory kind of get away from his jab a little bit. He's trying to pump it out there, but needs to set it up with more feints. That was a nice slip and right hand there from Rory, but Delano really establishing the range very well so far. It seems like right hand to the body. It, it seems to me that Rory just doesn't want to be in these exchanges. He, he's either looking for a takedown, which he did right away when they got into that range of exchanges. And he's changed levels and reached for it a couple times already and since then. Yeah, Rory looking a little tight here to start this fight for sure. Delano Taylor is fast and loose and watching on intently. Already punched his ticket to a welterweight championship. Sada Busi is sitting cage side with the iconic Gareth A. Dan. Pressing in the first round here, isn't he? Really impressive, Delano. I believe, I believe he started very good in the first round. Uh, and uh, Rory, I believe Rory pressured a little bit too much trying to get the takedown. Oh, what hit! Look at that, Sada Busi's knocked him out. Taylor just looks so sharp out there. Very motivated. Very you want any up reaction straight away or not? Use that long jab very, very well to set up the shots, find his rhythm and his range. Dropped him with a big right hand. It looks like Rory is, well, it's hard to say. I think he was favoring a knee there for a second, but maybe he was just having trouble sitting up. Delano Taylor is a factor at 170 pounds. There's the cut getting cleaned up for Rory McDonald. 
And Delano Taylor leaves no doubt about whether or not he belongs in this position. Economic stats bundle brought to you by Guy Coleman. It was a one-sided affair. Delano Taylor got the takedown. He landed more. It was the jabs that opened it up. It was the right hand that put Rory McDonald down. And that man is 25 years old. I mean, he, he was talking like he was definitely going to get to the final. Very confident, not cocky, but very confident. 30 of 37 of total strikes. That is a uh, very high landing percentage, but he just looked on, he looked tuned in. To me, Rory seemed like he was a little bit slow out there, a little sluggish. Beautiful right hand, just right down the middle. He just got that inside line when it came to trading. Rory threw a shot at the same time, but it was the speed and it was the directness of that right hand, just right down the pipe. And I don't think Rory saw it coming. He was looking for a hook and it just dropped him right down to the canvas. Just a thing of beauty right here, just straight down the pipe. Rory didn't see it coming, landed right on the chin. What a performance. So Delano Taylor, from the Challenger Series to the championship. Sadamo C liked what he saw. Rory McDonald has exited the cage. Gloves are already off. One has to ask the question whether or not this will be the end of Rory McDonald's career. And if not the end, what direction does the Red King go from here? What he has done in this sport and for this sport is beyond questioning. We obviously only wish Rory well. But the moment belongs to Delano Taylor. We'll make it official next. Delano Taylor, moments after the biggest win of his young mixed martial arts career, he just knocked out Rory the Red King McDonald will make it official with Andy Shepard.
Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mark Goddard, stop this contest at 3 minutes and 59 seconds of the first round, declaring your winner by TKO and advancing to the 2022 PFL World Championship, the postman, Delano Taylor! And there is Delano Taylor's Bud Light Championship moment. He'll take on Sada Busi in a welterweight championship bout coming up in November. Sweden versus Jamaica. Sada Busi versus Delano Taylor. Our welterweight playoff bracket is complete and brought to you by Next Level Hydrogen Water. We'll wrap it up when we come back to Cardiff, Wales on ESPN. Check, check, check. PFL on ESPN has been brought to you by Bud Light. Make good times great, drink responsibly. Next Level Hydrogen Water, the official water of the PFL. Geico, switch today and see all the ways you can sing. And by Bose, the official sound of the PFL. All right, welcome back to Motor Point Arena in Cardiff, Wales. Sean O'Connell here inside the Smart Cage with a winner by TKO in the very first round, Delano Taylor. Delano, you promised us during the week we would see a changing of the guard, but the only way to really signify that would be an emphatic win, a finish like this one. You made it happen. You made good on your prediction. How does it feel? Feels like I'm a, a truthful man. I'm aware of what I say, so I'm not surprised. You set up the finish with the jab, that flick jab, the speed. You cut him open, and then you saw the right hand did you, did you scout that out in camp? Did you know that those straight punches down the middle were going to be the kick? I already knew I had power in my right hand, and I already know my jab is really hard to beat. Uh, my corner Zimpa, Landon, and uh, Sadu, they were telling me um, feet move, hands get the credit. So I was just making sure I kept my feet moving, kept the jab pumping, and set up the right hand when it was time to go. Sada Busi versus Delano Taylor, how does that go? Uh, I don't know. I'm intrigued. I don't know how that goes just yet, but... I'm, uh, I'm going to be in the moment right now, celebrate this win, and then we're on to the next, you know? 
Congratulations, Delano Taylor from the Challenger Series to the 2022 PFL Welterweight Championship. Dave's got to eat. Dave's got to eat. Dave's got to eat.